Cron 4, your mind, body, and family with Dr. Mark Steinberg. Good morning. Time once again for our weekly segment on how to maintain good mental health with Dr. Mark Steinberg. You remember him. He specializes in clinical, educational, and neuropsychology. Welcome back. And today we're going to talk about compassion, which I know we need a lot more of in, in people. But I don't know. Is that really a topic that people seek therapy for? James, people don't come in to see a psychologist because they want to develop more compassion. Yeah, right. I mean, maybe their husband or wife or family member sends them <laughs> in, but, yeah. but they come in seeking relief of symptoms. Okay. Depression, anxiety, anger, pain, lack of focus, all things that get in the way of compassion. And as I say in my book, uh, they come in to relieve their symptoms. They get that, but they also get transformation. And the interesting thing is that what we focus on is developing self-control of the body and the mind mm -hmm. using the brain's natural plasticity. And we do this with our methods of neurofeedback and voice technology. And what happens actually as a side effect is uh, people become more sensitive and compassionate. Which, as I said, we need more of. And so what is it about um, compassion? There's, a, I guess, you get more connected with the people around you. Yes. Because you, you can relate to them. Basically, we all need compassion. Compassion means empathy or sympathy, sensitivity to the yeah. feelings and hardships and vulnerability of others with a desire to help. Okay. And, you know, our society is a, is a me-first society. If yeah. someone cuts in front of you, uh, you know, you, you want to uh, mention unspeakable words and, mm -hmm. and you think I'm entitled. But that ends up accelerating the nervous system. Right. And, you know, it's just juicy and delicious to be aggressive, to get back, to be vengeful. Right. But you raise your cortisol levels, you raise your defenses, and it's, it's all around no good for health okay. and relationships. So that's the benefits of compassion. How do we get it? What do we do? Well, we develop compassion by having people do EEG neurofeedback training. We train their brains, and specifically, the right hemisphere uh -huh. is where primitive emotions are located. And a lot of people suffer in early, uh, uh, very early childhood with either deprivation or perceived deprivation because they're, they're not nurtured in the way that they want, and okay. so the body builds up a guard. And uh, talk therapy is not going to get around this, but we do it neurologically, and it's just so helpful for people all the way around with sensitivity, right. sleep, communication, uh, anxiety. Wow. And all, again, without medication, without resorting right. to pharmaceuticals. Right. Well, that's the great part. So if people ask, are there any side effects to your treatment, I'm going to say, well, <laughs> you're likely to get nicer. How about that? Find out more about it. You can contact the doctor at his website, MarkSteinberg.com. You can email him, Mark, at MarkSteinberg.com. You can give him a call, 408-356-1002. Thanks again. This segment is sponsored by Dr. Mark Steinberg.